hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and uh, what I have for you today is <coughs> is a uh, Honda mower um, yeah these lawnmower obviously you know they're well known for their reliability and uh, real easy to start but uh, I guess at some point you know once they get old you know it cannot be uh, start easily anymore so um, so I'm gonna try to go through it. Uh, yeah, so this mower of mine, yeah, uh, have difficulty starting. So I have fill up the gas. Let me turn on the valve and start it up for you to take a look at it and see what happened. Yeah, but normally it's, it's really easy. You know, you can, uh, like I said, you know, one, one pull, two pull, and that should be You can see that it doesn't want to start. So uh, I think what we're going to try to do is uh, take a look at the, uh, the uh, automatic choker. There's a you know normally there's a manual choke on Honda uh, on lawnmower, but in this particular case Honda has it built in automatically um, choke. Um, so we're going to take a look at that mechanism, okay, and see what we got. So, so let's take the uh, filter out. So, yeah, so you can see in here, right in there, see right now, the, uh, there's a, there's a uh, door, you know, the metal, yes, but it's open. So normally when the, uh, it's cold, that door is supposed to be automatically closed and that will help the uh yeah uh you know to you know the door close close up the choke and that will help start easier but uh yeah so we'll we'll take this one out so there's two bolt here that we have to uh, remove See what we can see underneath. These bolts are apparently very long, so right, let me let me put the camera on the tripod here, and so that we can easily work on with both hands, make it easier. Yeah, by removing this filter box, you know, the, you loosen up the carburetor also. So, just make a note of that. See, it's really long. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this piece comes right up.
size of this gasket. Comes So that's how it looked like. Hopefully you can see that. And that there's a rubber hose that goes to the housing uh, of the filter. So I guess we can take that out. And that'll be easier to access. Yep, just like that. Okay, so guess what? Yeah. Yeah, I guess this particular one, uh, yeah, you notice that as I take it out, the choke door is now closed. Yeah, so. Let me clean up all the, yeah, all these stuff here and see what happened. All right, but it seems like it's a lot of stuff built up here. All right, so let me get something to clean it with. I got my air compressor, uh, but before you blow, you probably want to uh, cover up the, these hole here, so yeah, all the debris, dirt, don't get in there. So, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm getting pretty good. Let's go into the hole here. Yep, so at least you can blow it all out. Okay, so this 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 piece here, this is what responsible for that automatically uh, um, choke. See this pin here is supposed to move in and out, but right now is uh, yeah it's it's not able to push in. Let me show you where that goes. So this piece goes right here. Yep, right there. Okay, and and when it heats up, it's supposed to uh, push out. Yeah, but but it's not. You know, when it's cold, it's supposed to push in. So, yeah, this part is the replacement part, but uh, so I'm not sure why it's it's no longer. Yeah, but that's what something we have to look at into. Okay, so let me blow this continue.
about the noise. It's too. Yeah. Let me. Uh, let me let it shut down and then. Uh... All right. So I pulled that out pretty good uh, overall. So I guess this is the part we want to take a look at why you know it's not able to push in. So. I think I'm going to spray it with a little bit of uh, carburetor cleaner to see, you know, maybe, maybe over time, um, you know, could be something built up or, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what's inside these things. Uh, maybe there is a spring and could be dust and all that and, you know, it's not helping, you know, to... Uh, free up this this pin here so let me let me spray that with a little bit yeah and then we'll, we'll try to lubricate it and see if it helps So here, yeah. Okay, see how the pin comes out long? And push. Hmm, okay, so the whole pin comes out. That's weird. Uh, So yeah, that's that's just kind of strange how this thing works. So see how it pushes, push out. Hmm, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, but anyhow, uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not sure how it works. I mean, it's right here with some. Alright, you can see some gunk in there. Alright, um. Yeah, but I'm gonna put it back and see if it uh, will help at all, okay? Alright. So, I'm gonna put it back. I cleaned it off pretty good. Um, so, I, uh, like I said, um, yeah, I had the thing, yeah, the pin. So,. Yeah, I'm gonna spray this with a little bit clean of the carburetor cleaner to wash free of some dirt. Just to free up the this. Yep. 
Yeah, might as well, right? All right, let's put this in. Yeah, that pin is is riding on this this right here, and that's what push it. You know, this thing out in and out. You can see, yeah. Yeah, so I'm 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 going to spray some WD-40 in this piece just to lubricate it uh, because this is the moving piece right here and that will help uh, the movement easier. Yeah. So a little bit of everything helps, I, I guess. So. Oh, and here's a little trick, right? Um, Sometimes the WD-40, uh, when you use near the end of the can, it, it, it no, has no more aerosol or air in there. So what I do is I, uh, yeah, I, I drill a hole in the can and then I dump it out in this spray bottle. And that way I have it. It's, uh, it's kind of handy. Yep, so it's, it's useful, right? Because a lot of time the last bit in the can you cannot use it, so so this way you have, yeah. 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 It's pretty handy. All right. So. All right, so we're gonna put the back together. So the two bolts in the back of the housing, and then this gasket. Close on. Then, then the, the carburetor. And make sure the carburetor And then make sure the rubber hose go back in. There. Okay. All right. And then this piece here. Yep. Goes on. Like that. And then just line everything up and then the, the holes and then just screw in the bolt The rain start coming, so hopefully I can tighten this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 
really suck. Oh, we don't want the rain, right? <clears throat> yeah. Snook these. pretty good now notice I don't know if you can tell but you can see the door now is it's not open like the earlier yeah see this door is now closed right so that pin is, is pushing back in so that's yeah that's why it's doing that so I think actually WD-40 on that pin really helps so Alrighty, so let's put our filter, all that back on. Alright, let's turn on the, the gas. We'll give it a shot here. See the start. Okay. Right. Wish me luck. There you go, folks. Yeah, that's how you, uh, yeah, <clears throat> fix the uh, hard start on the Honda lawnmower. And uh, okay, so I, I hope this helped you out. If you have problem with this same lawnmower that you have, um, okay. Also, please like and subscribe if you uh, find this video helpful. Okay, uh, have a great day, and uh, let me run out before the rain start pouring down. All right, thank you. Bye bye.